Kitchen is alive. I'm Mr. Brian. I'm Miss Ramy. How are you doing today? We missed you. We're so glad to see you. Yes. Welcome to Kids Alive Church at Home. That's right. Hey, check this out. I've been working on my TV tricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? How did she do I know. that? I'm sorry. It's, a, it's easy. You just snap your fingers and boom. Wow. Okay. Let me try it. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> cool, this is cool. All right, let's come back. Ready? Ah, uh, there we are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now watch this one. All right. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, my turn. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm Savannah the Giraffe. Oh, nice Decker the Decorator of <laughs> All right, let's come back to normal. Ah, that's so silly. Your TV oh, tricks are great, Miss Ramey. I Ramey. know, they're so fun. I love having fun, don't you? I do. Yeah, don't you, kids? Kids alive. Hey, Kids Church is supposed to be fun. That's right. And whether you're here with us or you're watching at home like you are right now, church is fun. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's lift up your hands, kids, and I'm gonna pray right now that you would be filled with the joy of the yes. Lord. I pray that you would be able to feel the manifest presence of Jesus right now, right where you are. And I pray that you and your family and Jesus would have fun together all day long. Amen? Amen. All right, Kids Alive. So with joy in our hearts, let's all have fun as we praise the Lord. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Here we go.
Hey friends, we've been learning that Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. And today we're going to talk about how Jesus not only loves everyone, but he wants everyone to know him and believe in him. And everyone means everyone. You, your family, your neighbors, the kids and teachers in your school, the cashier at the grocery store, every person you see driving their car on the road or walking down the street, and even the people you don't particularly like very much and would never even want to talk to you, and you don't think they're lovable at all. Jesus loves them. Whoa. Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. And he wants them to know him and believe in him too. That's right, yes. Now, remember, whenever you hear us say, Jesus loves everyone, you say, Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Very good. Now, I cannot wait to talk more about the love of Jesus, and we will. But first, we need to check in with our Bible memory buddy, Decker the Decorator Crab, yeah. to find out how much you know about decorator crabs. It is time for our This or That Challenge. Okay, you'll hear one question about decorator crabs with two possible answers. Now it's up to you to decide which one is true. This one or that? Okay, so here's your this or that question. Do decorator crabs keep the same shell their whole lives or grow a new shell? Mm, so make crab hands like this. If you think they keep the same shell and make crab hands like this, if you think they grow a new shell. <laughs> I think this one. <laughs> that one, okay. Well, let's watch this video with Decker, our Bible memory buddy. Find out the answer. Hey there, friends, I'm Decker, and I'm a deep sea decorator crab. I decorate my shell, <laughs> see? Sometimes as I grow, well, my shell starts to feel a little bit small. Do you ever outgrow your clothes? Well, I outgrow my shell too. It's true, my shell gets too small for me. So I slip out of the old one and God helps me grow a new one. I'm even into recycling. Yep, <laughs> I take the decorations from my old shell and I put them on the new one, <laughs> with a few new additions, of course. Ah. Change can be good. It's, it's like a brand new start, a chance to live and create again. You can read in the Bible about Jesus' love changing people too. Like a Samaritan woman who was getting water at a well. Talking with Jesus changed the woman's life. And when she found out about Jesus' love, she wanted to tell everyone. She was one of the first people to believe that Jesus really was God's son. She believed in Jesus, and it changed her life. <laughs> How cool is that? In the Bible, book of John, chapter 13, verse 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. You can tell about Jesus and share his love with others, even people we might not normally hang out with. When you're good friends with Jesus, you'll notice things starting to grow and change in you too. Loving Jesus helps you love others better. He'll give you joy and help you be kind. When you're good friends with Jesus, he'll give you patience and peace when times get tough. Jesus' love will never go away. It'll keep filling you up so you can just keep on sharing it with others. Friendship with Jesus is something you never have to grow out of. He'll stick with you forever. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Let's keep having fun today, kids. I want to read our Bible memory verse with you, but I'd like to read it at the Grand Canyon. Ooh, wow. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Our Bible memory verse is John 13, 34. Let's say it together. I'll say a line and then you repeat after me, okay? Got it. 
Okay, John 13, 34. John 13, 34. So now I am giving you a new commandment. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Love each other. Just as I have loved you. Just as I have loved you. You should love each other. You should love each other. Great job. I love the Bible so much. It helps me remember that Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. That's right. And that he wants everyone to know him and believe in him. So in today's Bible story, we'll meet someone who was used to being left out until she met Jesus, that is. One day, Jesus and his disciples were walking through the region of Samaria. They kept walking and they were walking and walking and walking some more, traveling, walking. Finally, they decided to take a break. They were so tired and hungry. So Jesus' disciples went on into town to buy some food, and Jesus sat down by a well to wait. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to the well to get some water. So Jesus spoke to her and asked, would you please give me a drink? He must have been very thirsty from all that walking. But the woman was really surprised. Usually Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. So the woman said to Jesus, um, you're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? So John 4.10 tells us that Jesus said, you don't know what God gives and you don't know who asked you for a drink. If you knew, you would have asked me and I would have given you living water. But sir, you don't have a rope or a bucket. And this well is very deep, said the woman. So Jesus answered, every person who drinks this water from this well will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give will never be thirsty again. The water I give will become a spring of water flowing inside of him and it will give him eternal life. Wow. Ah, that's so good. Wow, please, sir, said the woman. Give me this water. So Jesus said, go and get your husband. Well, I don't have a husband, the woman said. Well, Jesus said, you right. You don't have a husband, but you have had five husbands. You told the truth. Sir, the woman said, you must be a prophet. I know the Messiah is coming to us, the one who is called Christ. And when he comes, he's going to explain everything to us. And Jesus told her, he said, he is talking to you right now. It's me. I am the one who came to save the world. <laughs> well, just then the disciples came back and they were totally surprised to see Jesus was talking to a Samaritan woman. But that woman's life had been changed. Yeah. She believed in Jesus, his kindness, his love, and his ability to see who she was had changed her life. She ran back to her village telling everybody, come see the man who told me everything I ever did. I think he might be the Messiah, the savior of the world. <laughs> so lots of people came from the village to listen to Jesus and lots of them believed in Jesus that day. Wow. Jesus' disciples didn't, didn't want him to even talk to the Samaritan woman. No. Nope. You know, that's pretty hurtful when people don't want to be kind. It's hurtful when people don't want to be our friends. Yeah. And that still happens in our world today. But Jesus is never like that. That's right. Jesus loves everyone. Yes, thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus also wants everyone to believe in him so that they can have the living water of eternal life too. Yeah. What if Jesus had refused to talk to the Samaritan woman? She would never have known that he's the son of God, our savior. Wow. She was the, one of the first people to believe that Jesus was really special, that he was God's son. And she would never have run to the village to tell all of the other people about him. So they would never have believed in Jesus either. And that's why it is so important to be kind and to love everyone, just like Jesus does. It's important to tell others about Jesus and to show them what he's like. Yeah. Jesus wants everyone to follow him because everyone needs him and because Jesus loves everyone. 
Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Jesus did not reject that woman, that Samaritan woman, like the disciples thought he would. Right. Because he never rejects never. anyone. Never. Guys, no matter how you feel and no matter what is happening in your life, please remember that Jesus loves you always and forever. He will never reject you. He will never leave you and he will always love you. He is always kind. He is so, so good. Talking to Jesus changed the woman's life in our story. Yeah. She believed in Jesus that day. And it really is the kindness of God that totally changes people's lives, their hearts, their minds, everything for them. Just like the Samaritan woman, you can tell people about Jesus. That's right. You can share his love and kindness with everyone. Yeah. Jesus will give you all the joy you need. He will help you be kind. He will pour his love out into your heart and it will overflow onto everyone that you need. Let's pray before we go. Yeah. Dear Jesus, thank you for your never ending, Amen. never stopping, always and forever love. Thank you for your powerful kindness toward us. Give us all encounters this week with the truth of how much you love us and help us to love others just like you love them. Lord, help us to show your kindness and goodness to everyone we know and everyone we meet. We believe in you. And in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Kids alive, we love you. We bless yes, you. We do we love you. We can't wait to see you next week, but until then, 